So today I'm going to talk about something that I don't know that everybody will agree with, but I think that it's something that needs to be said, and that is that Ubuntu is looking old and crusty. Uh, they have had the ba same basic layout for 20 years. They've had the ba same basic color scheme for 20 years. Now they have modernized the icon set and they have changed the general GTK theme so it doesn't look the same as it did 20 years ago. So obviously the some of the bits and pieces have become more modern looking and, and better looking. So they have done some work, but it's if you if you look at this, it's not anything that has is significantly different than it was in 2008. And now I know some of you guys out there who are big Ubuntu fans are perfectly okay with the way this looks. And if you're not okay with this look, you can always install GNOME Tweaks or whatever and change it to however you want it to look. And you can install extensions and you can move things around. If you wanted to make it different, you could make it different. But my point is, is that Ubuntu has looked the same way for a very long time. And that just makes it feel like it's not moving forward. And... It feels like one of those distributions that is developed to cater to their fans and no one else. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with those distributions that are very attached to the way they look and feel. You know, a lot of distributions are exactly like that. But they they all have a fan base and they have no interest in expanding outside of it. And that's not what Ubuntu is supposed to be. Ubuntu is supposed to be the distribution that you point new users towards where new and exciting things are supposed to happen and that's just not really the way ubuntu has felt to me in a very long time it, it has felt old crusty and stale and sometimes pretty slow so it, it has some issues and i think that if they spent just a little bit of time in in modernizing it and making it so that it doesn't look and feel the exact same way it has since 2008 i think that they could bring in not only new Linux users better, but they could also bring in some of the people that they've lost over the years. You know, some new and exciting things do draw in bigger audiences. It's just kind of the way things work. But also Ubuntu has a reputation now of being just about stability and not about innovation, right? When Ubuntu first came out, it was all about innovation, you know? It's one of the distributions that made Linux usable for the first time. If you wanted to install Linux on a machine, Ubuntu was pretty much the best option because it had the best hardware support. It was constantly getting updated. It, you know, it, the, the pace of innovation was very, very quick, lickety-split. Nowadays, it's not like it's not that anymore. Now, obviously, I don't want. To, I I really don't want to go back to the old days where you know audio didn't work half the time. You couldn't get your Wi-Fi card working for the life of you. You know, I don't want to go back to the bad old days. But Ubuntu had a reputation at one point of pushing the envelope, and it no longer does. It now it feels like it stays the same. Like every release that it comes out with every six months or so. It's just the same stuff over and over and over again. Even their new installer basically looks like the old installer. You know, it's, there's nothing here that is new and exciting. And that's disappointing to me because I think that Ubuntu, when it was pushing the envelope, was something that was to be celeb celebrated. It was to be rewarded. It's why they have so many users that have been with them for so long is because they, they had, you know, they were the pioneers of Linux, right? You know, Linux was around a long time before Ubuntu showed up, but it did not become popular, you know, quote unquote popular until Ubuntu was here. And one of the reasons why that was the case was because Ubuntu came in and made Linux accessible. They weren't afraid of doing new things. They weren't afraid of trying new things. They weren't afraid of pushing that envelope. And that spirit of innovation has, or at least appears to, have gone away. Now, some of this is simply because Canonical has lost interest in the desktop. You know, they just, they, they're no longer interested in coming to this, you know, piece of software and innovating. They're all about the enterprise market now, right? They're an enterprise company. That's where they make their money. The, the Ubuntu desktop makes them zero dollars right you know and that's just the way it has been forever right they've never made 
a profit on the Ubuntu desktop. And because that they're a company and they're supposed to make money, they have to focus where they're going to make money. So that's part of it. But also, you know, it's when you create something that is that works and a lot of people like changing it is scary, right? Coming out and saying, hey, we're going to blow this thing up and make it new and exciting again is going to cause some people to sit, to worry that their beloved Ubuntu is going away. We, we know that this is the case because, you know, when Gnome 2 was around and then Gnome came out with Gnome 3, everybody hated it, right? <laughs> you know, that's the reason why we have Ubuntu Mate. It's the reason why we have the Cinnamon desktop, right? People are very attached to the their workflows and the way things work. And for whatever reason, people like this particular workflow and this particular look and feel. And changing that would be not so great for Canonical, maybe, you know, it, I'm different than a lot of people. I like change. I like to have developers behind a distribution that are interested in making changes and trying new things. You know, it makes it more exciting for me. But I'm very rare in that in in that way of thinking. I th I think that a lot of people just prefer what they know, and that's just you know kind of what Ubuntu has kind of fallen into. That this is what they know. And they find no reason to change it. Now, some of this is just that I've never been a Ubuntu fan, right? I've never been, you know, an, uh, an Aberjean kind of guy, if, if you know what I mean. Like, I, this, this color purple has never been my kind of color. And I think that, you know, a fresh color scheme would be happy. Now, obviously, a color scheme is so easy to change, but it just feels like it's everywhere in the, you know, the ubuntu ecosystem and i it's just something that i i personally don't like so i always think that you know if they changed this ubuntu would be better for me so this is mostly just a selfish wish but it does feel like ubuntu has kind of stagnated now over the course of the last few releases maybe the last three or four years maybe even longer than that it just feels like every release gets progressively more meh you know uh we only really cover if there's things that go wrong. Like if there's a big bug or they, they ship something that, you know, breaks like app images or something like that, then we, then we'll cover it. Right. Well, we'll talk about it. But when was the last time we come out with a release for Ubuntu and pointed towards, Hey, they have a brand new feature. It's awesome. We should talk about it. It's been a very long time. And you know, that's a little bit disappointing because Ubuntu, like I said, used to be the develop, the, the distro that pushed Linux forward. It's not that anymore. That's kind of Fedora, you know, and, and I don't want to sound like a Fedora fanboy, but Fedora and the developers behind Fedora push new technologies all the time. You know, they push Wayland, they push Pipewire, you know, when the next brand new thing come out, comes out, I'm sure Fedora will be one of the first distributions that, you know, adopt it. Right. And Ubuntu, I think they've kind of gotten burned on doing new things because, you know, they, they tried Mirror and they tried to do the mobile thing. Right. And none of those things took off. And now they're very gun shy, right? They don't want to try new things because they've failed too many times, maybe, you know, and, and that's just, you know, a shame. So Ubuntu, I feel, is being left behind a little bit in the terms of actually being thought of as an innovative distribution. Now it's just the new Debian. It's hard to say that. It's, it's the new Debian. Maybe I'll use that as a title. So that is it for this video. If you have thoughts on the whole idea of Ubuntu becoming old and crusty, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. You can follow me on Masses on Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linuxcast. Links for LiberaPay and YouTube will be in the video description as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel will not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thanks everybody for watching, I'll see you next time.